hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to take a look how we can enable copilot preview for our power automate and as well as for our power apps and how we can leverage the ai powered feature which is given by the copilot so let's get started so i am on my powerautomate.com and over here you can see i on the home screen itself i can see a panel where it's written that start building your flow with copilot so these are ai powered feature which i'm going to show you how you can enable for your environment and of course because it's a preview feature you can just start exploring it but yeah for production ready application it should not be touched as of now until unless like it's actually full-fledged release in production and the same is with the power apps if i uh, see the copilot preview onto my power apps then it looks like this on the home screen you would be given a one big text box where you can write up whatever you wish to build uh, for example you wish to like uh, create a logistic tracking app and you can just type it and once you click on over here then copilot will take control of it and it will start creating the uh, background tables for you in the data words and you can actually modify keep the instructions to copilot uh, from this uh, right hand side panel so that it can improve and whatever your application you are looking for it can be like uh, at least near to that what you are envisioning so you can see like we have like four columns for uh, this logistic tracking app and you can pick up for example you can say like add one more column for city name so it will add one more column into your table so that's how like uh, this copilot would work so you can play with around it like uh, to make your application or uh, this table to look what you are looking for per your business requirement so for example this has added the city name as an additional column and over here you can just click on create app so it will create a single uh, screen app for you where you would be seeing a standard gallery control on the left nav left navigation and uh, the actual content over the right hand side so this is how this preview works so you can play around it but uh, the the intent or objective of this video is how you can have that environment created for you so right now if i just go to my environments you would see i have like few couple of environments already created and if i go back to my power automate for example if i change my default environment let's say xmid so this environment by default doesn't show me that copilot dialog box or the text area where i can start building my flows by writing a simple standard english uh, text or verbiage for my power automate so i have to actually go to my this mc swap preview where like actually the preview of environment is created and where i can have this uh, copilot a feature enabled so how to get there for that i have to create one environment from here so i'm into in my environments then you have to give a uh, name for it so mc swap preview uh, sample or demo and over here you have to choose the region as preview united states and the power automate uh, copilot preview is not available into the normal united states uh, type is preview under united states which is that and over here you can choose a trial one and once you create your data world so right now you can see like in the when once i selected this preview united states it by default make my add data verse option as grayed out so this preview us environment doesn't allow us uh, to create any data verse at behind the scenes so that's just keep that in mind and once you save it it will give you it will create one environment for you so okay so i have already reached my this limit of one trial environment so which is this preview one and that is why like i could see a uh, uh, over here one copilot text area so i can simply say like create a document review flow of course it's a simple one for reviewing with people in SharePoint field just type in that and just click on next it will give you a modern pane like where actually it will ask for all the connectors what uh, suggested flow actions would be so you can just review this so it's saying first of all it's saying like whenever item is created modify get change of an item or a file and then go for a each loop to create a task for every approvers all the approvers and send an email with the task link so if it suffices then you can just simply say next otherwise you can click on show a different suggestion so I, if i say next it will give me an area 
where I can actually uh, look for all the connectors, what it is going to use. And if I click on create flow, it just give me a modern pane, modern designer authoring tool for my this flow. So if you are already working on Power Automates, you must be uh, looking at the classic uh, authoring tool where we have the different sort of, uh, I mean, UI. But this one is kind of like very much intuitive and modern one. So it, you can simply see uh, what your flow is doing in a kind of pretty much visual form. So over here is condition true and false. So now right now it's very pretty neat uh, flow structure is that you can click on these actions if you wish to like uh, minimize everything. And if you wish to like look at the conditions, then you can open this uh, panel, which opens the panel for adding the conditions over here. So as we used to do the uh, dynamic values over here, so right now it's a it's a new modern uh, editors they have given with any uh, value columns where you can insert the dynamic values from here. So right now I have not created any connections. I'm not I have not set up any SharePoint site or list. So that's why it's saying blank. But you can do that. And in the effects in the formulas you can create a big big formulas like earlier we used to be. Uh, restrained with a very much limited scope of like adding the formulas but right now we have this uh, the multiple rich area where we can directly write in our big big formula over here so we can start searching you can do all the logical or expression operations over here in this formula area so this is the new enhancement or the modern look and feel of Paratomate, which is going to be there but right now it's not there it's in preview beta not released yet yes and you can keep on asking or uh, checking the questions for this uh, copilot, which keep on modifying your flow or give the suggested task. For example, if I say send push notification as well, so I would be expecting some additional tasks which I can actually accept and it will add to the flow. So that's where like this copilot is very much helpful. So it has given me the suggestion, send me a mobile notification. If I click on yes, and it will add up. So you can keep on asking questions, keep on updating your uh, flow. It's, it's pretty much like very smart way of uh, creating the flows now going forward until unless like it's rolled out to the production. So that that's where like I just want to give you a glimpse like of how the uh, big.powerautomate.com works with a preview version. So right now you can see it's a URL which is having this make.preview.powerautomate.com. So it's not the normal one. Normal URL which we have is used to like this make.powerautomate.com. So over here, if I just choose my same environment, preview environment, I will not see that preview dialog box or preview that area where I can start building it. So right now, it has automatically redirected me to that preview.powerautomate.com because my environment is preview with the US region. And if I talk about the power apps, if I go back to my environment and I'll just uh, actually close everything and start from scratch. So I'm just loading up my this environment right now. If I change my URL as to make.preview.powerapps.com, and we'll check my environment. So right now I don't see any boxes for my copilot or the area for my copilot. And if I go to the M65 preview, I would still not see any dialog for my copilot. And the reason is because we have not created this by, by default, this preview environment, which is a uh, US preview. It does not have any data verse and we need copilot. We need a data verse table. So that's why it's not showing up, but we can have one uh, another environment that environment would be just bind it up with the united states one so it by default the preview has been linked to the normal united states environment region environment so if i just switch back to my m365 tech help which is created into the us region i would get simply my this copilot help with this ai powered enabled feature so over here i can as i suggested earlier like you can start typing or creating your own or any sort of like apps which you wish to build so that's where the starting point and the overall objective of this video was uh, to guide you how you can create the environment and which can enable the co-piloting for power automate as well as co-piloting for power apps so that's it for today i hope you like the video if it's useful then please do drop your comment and like the video 